Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Uh, we're here to do a hoard. They called us in to come out and clean and get rid of all the, the, the clothing and the stuff that they don't need anymore. Obviously, you guys seen the kitchen, the bathroom, inside of the bedrooms, and now inside the storeroom. Mm -hmm. All this stuff needs to be cleaned and rearranged so that she can get around and be able to live in her house again because she's here by herself. Obviously, she can't do it alone, so yep. we're here. Small decon team's here, so we can get everything situated. Let's get the day started. We're gonna be here for a whole week. Yeah. I see big things happening. Us getting this job complete. Let's get to it. We're here to give her a better home, man. You know, she lost her husband. She's a widow, so this is what we do. We make families happy all over again. Well, this is a start. <laughs> Is how the first bedroom. Uh, this is the, the underneath part. Uh, the underneath is uh, rust where it's just been sitting. She says she didn't know what the basically this secretion comes from, but on the way out she said it came from cat urine. So I did. I decided to take that because she did want to keep it, but I was like, I don't think that's best for you. Close it. Yep. Bam. We're just shifting and moving so that we can remove the carpet. Any trash that we see that deems to be salvageable, we'll save. And if it's not, then obviously we're going to throw it away. Um, we're going to work our way from right to left so that we can end up towards the front door. Getting all the carpet up, getting all the trash up, and just cleaning everything for the time being. That's the game plan. Can you tell me a little bit about what kind of pile we have here? What kind of things qualify for the pile? Uh, basically in this pile, um, but like, like I said again, type of fecal, the juice, so anything that has that, anything that has any biohazard on it that is just guarded. So with this clothes being up there on that bed, knowing that it has some type of bio on it, just gotta get rid of it all, no matter how bad you want to keep it. With clothing, we try not to save it if it's like saturated in urine, it has feces on it, stuff like that. But if we can deem it to be washable and salvageable, then obviously it's in like how this is full of pet dander and all that. And then you can see your urine stains and all that through the sheets. Then yeah, obviously I'll toss that. But. filter is some type of paint that makes anything gets on it it stays staying so yeah. with that mold on there we can he's lightly removing it but it's still like staying staying in that paint
Ask him. Lift them up. Train yourself. Yes, ma'am. If there is no visible staining on the ceiling beneath it, then it just settled inside of the carpet in the pad. But how we were in the storage room downstairs, if you can see visible staining on the ceiling, then you'll know it penetrated the wood and went straight through. photographs and um, she has some magazines that she likes to read so we're keeping those obviously electronics jewelry whatever personal items whenever she comes in here and we show them to her it's like hey do you want to keep this if not she'll just tell us to toss them and that's what we've been doing for the time being dirty we gotta go through the kitchen anyways Clothes, belts, stay. sewing stuff. Hey, shout out to Wolf. You know, on my back, Matt's Woo. walking. <laughs> yep, yep, okay. You clear all the way behind. Yep, and then. I'm just showing that TV throughout. I'm sorry. Oh, we're fine. That's, that's totally up to you, but we're fine. If you want to do that, you can be nice, that's up to you. Bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and like the edge, like down here and stuff, get all that. Make sure the inside, because you can see around the edging, and it's all dirty in there. So clean that. There, get the floors, and then we will wipe like those. Well, I know. Close for the bathroom. We keep everything in. All we're gonna do is sweep them up the floor, sweep and do the, the inside, wash it down. Yeah. Brand new. Yeah. Really, this is not even bad. Just a quick wipe down. What is it? Uh, so this is the white balls that we soaked up all the uh, all the cat feces and urine that was in here. Uh, oh, that was sedimented to the bottom. Uh, we let it soak in the cleaner. And yeah, just get her so, right now. Hey, good. It actually went really well. We were able to clean up two of the bedrooms, or the, bash, the master bedroom and then the guest bedroom. We were able to get the carpet out of there, obviously, vacuum afterwards. We tried to put everything back as as we could to how it was when we got here. She's satisfied, she's a little more calmer, she's a little more happier. Like I said again in all my videos, it's for the customers. So as long as she's happy, we happy. And we're doing our job. So she doesn't want us to turn the toilet on and leave it running and there's something wrong with it. It actually overflows or there's a leak somewhere, which I understand. So when we come back tomorrow, I'll focus on the toilet while everybody else is inside the kitchen and the living room getting everything else situated. Other than that, we're good. Still got some work to do. Still got a lot of cleaning to do, but we're gonna get it done. We got enough people working here, so it's gonna be awesome. Okay, Shelby, day two. So, uh, what's the plan for today? For today, we're gonna go back through the rooms and the bathrooms, make sure we cleaned everything, especially the windowsills, all of that. And then we're gonna, when we can get that knocked out, we're gonna go ahead and and get into the kitchen, try to get the countertops cleared off and clean, try to get the floor cleaned. So a lot of the heavier stuff, like getting the fridge out of here, is going to be a little difficult if we do try to do it. Yeah, biggest thing is trying to get the rest of the carpet out, and that will cut down on a lot of the smell. Yeah, if you see any marks on the walls or right. doors or anything, try to get as much off as you can. I'll get that, and then I'll start working my way this way. 
Yeah, Shockwave. This is the uh, one chemical that will not strip the paint. A lot of people say, oh, the best thing to get stains out is part A. But that will strip any paint that will cause more damage than what we're trying to do. So, Shockwave is definitely the best. Is it just like pretty shallow or is it? Yeah. It's about that deep. Got a hand. The front of the stove had a lot, a lot of nasty gunk up and grease. So, um, had some Comet in the truck, used it and it worked great. Mm -hmm. uh, using some crazy chemicals and you got some Comet right here, so. Yeah. This half is clean, except for the dishes, except for the dirty dishes in here. Mm -hmm. This side, however, if you can shine a light down, I don't know if you'll be able to... It's completely full down there. Uh, just garbage, or whatever. And so, that's not draining. I mean, is there a garbage disposal? There is, but I'm scared to turn it off. <laughs> Obviously that one I'm not going to throw, because it has glass in it. This one I'll take down because it has glass in it. Boy, it's kind of hidden too, so yeah, I'm not doing that. Even if you sand them, you're going to ruin the chair. Exactly. You can't save the chair. So yeah, this one, that one, that chair, and this lamp. Okay. So this one goes back. That one there moves. The lamp goes. You just have to unplug it. Oh no, that's not attached. Yeah, that's not attached. Yeah, <laughs> you see, we try to slide it. That's yeah. not attached. <laughs> there you go. Stuff like that. You want to keep this? What is that? Refrigerator magnets and stuff. Oh, just a container. Okay, so oh. everything else will. Right. Let's go. No pressure. And we can scrub it down. We gotta get the refrigerator out too. Real fast. Okay, it probably is. Something. There's a secondary cable running to something down here. After I push, me and Shelby will switch. Ready? Okay. Ready? Set. Two. Go. Let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this. I got you. I'm gonna hold. I'm holding with you. Easy yeah. death. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's full. Yeah. Oh, you got room. You got room to swing. You got room to swing. Watch your back. Just pull back slow. Pull back slow. There you go. There you go. Down. Slow, slow, slow. Slow, slow, slow. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Ah, I got you. I got you. I got you. All right, Shelby, back up. Hey, there you yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Yep. That works too. Yay! I don't fall. Ready? Yep. Two. Three. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, right yep. it over? Yeah. Yeah, move it, Dolly. It's up. I'm gonna lift it up and slide it over this here. Yes, sir. There it is. Okay. And that door is still shut, too. Yep. It'll probably take you guys a little bit to do. Yeah. Okay. See, look at that little buddy right here. Yeah. He's just walking, having a good time, ain't he? Shelby, your friend's over here. Yeah, I see that. I'm serious. You want to come hold him? You want to pet him? Spider? Yeah, Shelby doesn't like spiders. He's, he's not big. It, he's not big. He's a little, he? a little bitty. A little yeah. bitty thing. It's actually my side business to do coin cleaning. <laughs>
tell in the color. But look, like see when I sweep it and it moves? Yeah. Look at the difference in the floor. It's a pain in the you know what, but we got a lot accomplished. The refrigerator that was, yeah, that was an ordeal in itself. But Thank you very much. hey, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. The team got it together. We got it done. That's all that matters at the end. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna come back tomorrow. We're gonna go balls to the wall, grind it out. Hopefully we can get everything accomplished by the end of the day tomorrow. And we'll see how it goes from there. But until tomorrow, you guys, we'll see you next time. So morning, Mario. So we're on uh, day three. Can you give us a real quick uh, progress update? Um, we got, I want to say 95% of all the carpet up out of the house. We just got that little 5% that's left over inside the living room. Got to remove the uh, entertainment center all her books and belongings that's on top of it, clean them, wipe them down, and store them somewhere that she can have access to, get the trash, remove, and basically it's just gonna be a deep clean type of day today. We got rid of everything else of hazard to her that needs to be done. So my team's upstairs, they're prepping to get themselves ready, and we're just gonna go ahead and go balls to the wall with it and try to get everything knocked out as best as we can. So we don't have to come back tomorrow, but if we have to come back tomorrow and do a little extra cleaning, then so be it. And that's gonna be the whole game planning initiative for today. Just deep clean, everybody going hard, and let's get to work, let's get to it. Have a good day. So we need to go give her a... Yeah. Now I'm just going to move all of this stuff over on this side. Mm -hmm. And the TV is the only thing that's going in the trash. Uh, that's going out. The yeah. rest of the stuff stays. Yes, ma'am. And I'll just move all that stuff from here over here. Mm -hmm. Get the carpet up and then we'll clean and scrub. Mm -hmm. And uh, get all the tack strips up, vacuum, clean. And then we'll just scrub and wipe down the walls and the vents and all that stuff as we go. Yeah, man, everything's going great. Um, just really getting the gunk off the dishwasher. She's not going to keep it, but just to make sure everything looks intact, as you see, the cleaning. Just still got to make sure this gets done as well. Uh, let's see what you I'm going to take down all the vents. As I, as I go down, taking the vents down, I'm just going to leave them where they go at. So as we go to room by room, we just clean every vent as we go room by room. Okay. <laughs> Is it coming out pretty easily? Yeah. yeah. That's the good thing about these things, because it's basically metal. That's what they're made of. Cool so, that's painted metal. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it's pretty right. wipe it down. And with vacuum, just take this attachment. Yeah. Just yeah. deep cleaning. Savage is over here scrubbing. Deck brushing the floor. Wiping down all these vents. Spraying them down. Wiping down the walls. That's it. In this room too is the same as we do around the house. Anything, uh, lamps, uh, light fixtures, fans, any dust you see on the wall. Uh, basically, we're just taking a vacuum, running the vacuum first, get all the dust down. Um, second thing, come back, whole bunch of wipe down with the micro, uh, with the shock wave, and just our napkins and just get everything tidied up for them. Majority try to get the wall, corner of the walls done as well. That has handprints and dirt on them. Um, again, try to just make it as clean and as new as we can for. That's that's the main object. Make sure you get your little friends just hanging out. He's here to help.
halfway done in here now. Just giving it a nice little prep wipe. This is what happens when you expose all the cat pills, the urine and stuff like that. The smell just seeps in the air, hence the reason why I have the air scrubbers going like that. Us, it's like second nature us. Yeah. No big deal. I got it picked up, get the carpet and pad out of here, get the tack strips up, clean up behind here, clean that, put the vents back. We're good. <laughs> now you're good, let me find the stairs. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yep. So glad they don't make these no more. <laughs> <laughs> that screen now? No. 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 We're gonna flip it. Flip it over. Yep. <sighs> all right, Nathan. I need you one more time, sir. This is all one piece. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just want to pull it. From here, all to the wood, so that I can get all the carpet and stuff rolled up. said we we're gonna get done deep clean inside of the kitchen the bedrooms the bathrooms got everything vacuumed wiped down swept scraped scrubbed all the whole nine yards removed the rest of the carpet all in all great day great third day we even got finished with time to spare so I want to say I want to give congrats to my team everybody did their part everybody hands in we went to it had a game plan executed Till next time you guys for more information, visit any of our locations.